Hello everybody, it's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video guys and today I'm going to be going over the Mutt GG promo that is dropping tomorrow. It's called Mutt Gridiron Guardians. Now this is a very new promo in terms of name. It's formerly known as the Mutt Heroes promo for all you guys who have not actually went ahead and played Madden in the past. Mutt Heroes promo is essentially like some fun boom pow comic-esque promo. Now they changed it to Gridiron Guardians this year, which is kind of different, but it's still cool, similar concept, not much is going to be changing on that front, but first, let's cover some of the LTDs before we do get into the video, and there's some construction going on in the background, guys, so I apologize for potential audio and no face cam today, but let's get into this, we got Kareem Jackson, strong safety for the Broncos, 90 speed, 91 excel, 88 tackle, 92 play rec, 93 pursuit, 86 man, 90 zone, and 90 hit power. Now, that card overall... He's going to probably be one of the more meta cards in the game. Not in terms of like the best safety in the game, but he gets the zone, hit power threshold, and the speed above 90, and the tackle, and the pursuit, and the play rec. He's a very, very good card overall. You guys can see Robert Woods. This is the powered up version of him. 93 overall. That's another one we're getting today. The, mo the main thing here we can see is going to be the speed. The speed's going to get up all the way to a 91, which is actually really good for Robert Woods' card. Speed, good carrying, above 90 catching. Close to 90 jumping, well-rounded card, you know, Robert Woods going to be a good route runner, good catcher, always super solid. Rams team teams are looking pretty good as well this year offensively. Next, guys, the Gridiron Guardians. These are going to be some of the players that we will be seeing. These are the 82 overalls that we don't have screenshots for. We have Derek Watt, Noah Fant, Rashard Lawrence, Kenneth Murray Jr., Eric Wilson, Henry Ruggs, LaMarcus Joyner, Taylor Decker, Marquise Brown, Eric Flowers, Kevin Pierre, and Nico Autry. Hollywood Brown and Henry Ruggs should be a really, really good budget beast in terms of being able to play with them on budgety squads as of tomorrow when we get them live. Okay, guys, so you guys can take... I'm going to go through these pretty fast because, of course, the 86s aren't going to be too great. They're more about going to be more set pieces and stuff like that. So take screenshots as you feel necessary. Chris Boswell, noticeable stats, 84 kick power. That's really about it there. Uh, Corey Bodiquez, Bohoquez, I don't know how to say that. But he has 87 kick power, way better than Boswell, but he is only a punter. Next, we do have Blake Martinez, whose stats got a little blurred here. But Blake Martinez is, you know, eight, not, not exactly fast enough to actually be usable. He actually just tore his ACL, I believe, as well, which is horrible. We got Cody Whitehair, center for the Bears. Mm, low mid-80, you know, well-rounded low mid-80 pass run blocker. Not Nothing too usable there. I mean, if you get some free ones, they could just round out your squad a little bit in place where you don't have a player. Grady Jarrett. 87 power move, 86 block shed. Not exactly the greatest. We got Jarvis Landry. 85 speed for a Landry card is actually pretty high. But nothing really else that's going to be noticeable. A lot of these cards, like I said, aren't going to be the most usable cards. We got Joe Mixon. Uh, 87 speed, 88 excel. 85 change direction, 87 break tackle. His catching should have definitely been higher. Orlando Brown Jr. He's got high strength at an 89, but then low, well-rounded passing slash run blocking. Nothing too great there. Patrick Peterson. 86 overall. For the Vikings cornerback, 88 speed, 89 excel. It's one of the more usable from a speed standpoint. Uh, 87 man. That's really about it. He'll be a good budgety man corner. Not going to be too great at zone or anything else. We got Shaquille Griffin, 90 speed, 89 excel, 87 zone. Going to kind of gonna be pretty much a better version of Pat Pete with the zone. Actually, that's actually that's a pretty good usable card if you get a free one. We have DeForest Buckner, 90 overall here. Now, he's going to be one of the, uh, just like going back. To Griffin, which is the final 86. We have the Force Buckner, who is one of the first 90s, which is going to be the Guardians. He gets a 91 finesse move, which is really good. 87 block shed, 70 speed, 84 excel. <clears throat> Not too bad there. We got Alvin Kamara. Now, only an 87 speed on Kamara, which is <clears throat> kind of trash, honestly. I mean, this card's not going to be good. 89 excel, 91 break tackle, 85 change of direction. It, this promo, as far as speed goes, is making me believe that they went ahead and made players too fast to start the year. Now they're slowly trying to go ahead and counter back how much speed they actually, like, they, they went ahead and made us, you know, we all went ahead and got cards like 95, 97 speed, and now they're going to give us 87s, so that's just, it's not, not going to work, it's just not going to work out too well. We have Amari Cooper, 87 speed, 85 jumping again, not a usable card speed-wise, the route running's going to be high 80s, the short running's good, the catching's going to build in the 80s again, not a usable card, I mean, I'm hoping these masters are better because M Mike Evans, one speed higher than Mark Cooper's kind of kind of robbery as well. He does get the 90 deep route running threshold when you power him up and the catching traffic and spec. And he gets 89 speed, so he's way better than Cooper in my opinion. If you had to pick one of them, I'd probably go with Mike Evans. Mike Jasicki, 84 speed, 10 end, not going to be usable. But he does get the 90 catching, 90 catching traffic, and 90 spec catch. So that's pretty good as well. Yeah, we got Stephon Gilmore. A little too slow to be a cornerback. I mean, Marlon Humphrey, day one, superstar MVP, had that speed. 
He does get the press and the man threshold, but he would not get the zone. Very similar to the Humphrey card. Jamal Adams, actually not horrible. He'll get a 90 speed with 89 Excel, 90 play rec, 90 pursuit, above 90 hit power and zone. Kareem Jackson's probably better, but he's also an LTD and a higher overall. And then Deshaun Taylor and stuff as well. Fred Warner, one of the first old, like the champions, right? These are going to be, there was the Guardians, there was the Heroes, the Guardians, others the Champions. So Fred Warner's going to be one of our highest players here. 84 speed on a champion, 92 overall card, guys. That's not a usable card. 84 speed's crazy. It's not usable at all. 87 Excel is not usable. 77 Strength is horrible. 89 Tackle is good. 92 Play Rec. 85 Block Shot. 84 Hit Power. 88 Zone. This is just, this is dumb, honestly. This card right here, how do you have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6? Six out of the eight stats are in the mid low 80s, right? And then one stat's in the 70s. He has one stat at 92 and he's 92 overall. This is a basically card. Like, I don't know what they were thinking here. Um, we have Christian McCaffrey, Champion Edition, which is really cool looking card and name. Only 88 speed, 89 Excel, 91 agility, 93 carrying, 87 catching, 89 change of direction, 85 break tackle. Again, all 80 stats are low 90, and somehow he's 92 overall. Does not make sense at all. I mean, personally, will not be picking up this card either. 88 speed is way too slow. We have, uh, here's some of the promo stuff. We have the welcome pack. We have the tip, of course. There are some other cool things to this promo, which I will get to, like the free players and stuff, but... You see here, you guys, you get an NCAT 90 overall GG player, so you can't get one of those 90s that I did show you. So if you do feel inclined and you like any kind, I like any kind of player, of course, for free or whatnot, you can go ahead and actually pick up the player for free. So it's just not exactly the end of the world if you do go ahead and you know get one of them for free. I just don't think I'd go ahead and spend my hard-earned coins on many of these players. Uh, let's see what else we got. We have you know the, the goals and stuff. Now, guys, there is actually a mission here which I may not be showing. If you do the mission, like you know the grid, it'll be the Gridiron Guardians uh, objectives. You can go ahead and get yourself a auctionable 90 overall. Now, Crayola did not specify. He said he wasn't sure if it's a fantasy pack or or how it's going to come, you know, random. But that will be there. Next, guys, we do get a super suit as our new promo-based strategy card, similar to how there was the kickoff one and the Super Saiyan P one. So you'll get plus one to pretty much every stat on the card if you do put that card on, which I guess was their way of saying we made these cards worse so they get plus one. But plus one speed doesn't make an 87 speed Kamar any faster. So you see here, super suit, you apply it here. And you will go ahead and get boost across your entire team. For instance, you'll see here you get a plus one strength, agility, speed. Screenshot that if you want to see them all. But those are going to be all the stuff you get plus ones to, which is a crazy amount of plus ones. But, you know, if you're looking at a wide receiver, you care about maybe the catching, the speed, and the route running. But other than that, you know, all those other stats don't help him. It doesn't make up for the lack. Like, kick, improving his kick power isn't going to make me feel any better about how slow the card is. Then we got, of course, the solo challenge, which you can go ahead and get your free players, like I stated before. Uh, you can see here you get the 90 overall NCAT Guardian, which was the one from the, uh, the list from earlier. You get 82 overall Guardians as well. You will go ahead and get 82 pluses as well, which is actually pretty cool, guys, because 82 pluses could potentially be a pretty high auctionable one. One of the exchange sets you are going to be able to go ahead and do again, guys. I'm going to be honest, I'm not a big fan of this promo. I like the free players. I like the art. I like all that stuff, but I'm going to be honest, I'm not a fan of almost anything they do with this promo. There's one thing, actually, which I will get to in just a second, as you guys can see me scrolling through all this is going to be this final picture we have here, which is going to be the card art. They do have custom card art. Shout out to Conrad Javier. I believe this is the same guy who made those like Superstar X Factor, Madden Pro release card art drops. Now, I'm going to be honest, guys. This card art's fire. I think this is one of the best card arts I've ever seen in MUD. I would love to have every card like this, quite honestly. Now, the only thing is, guys, the problem is the best part of this promo is going to be the card art. Um, honest opinions, I don't like the promo. I don't like the players. It seems lazy. It's It, it pretty much just ruined MUD Heroes, in my opinion. I'm usually not negative, but I don't think there's a single usable card in this promo. I don't think there's, like, one card where I'm like, I need... Okay, and the sad part is the only cards we thought, like, were, okay, they're pretty good. It's because everything else was so worse. It was, like, what's, you know, what's less ugly. But I, I don't think... I think this promo was kind of an L, to be honest. But, guys, better for the video. Hopefully, you guys did do it for each coins. Head on down below. Use my code at checkout so you guys can pick up some, you know, some cards that are better than these cards. And if you do happen to want the McCaffrey, or at least one of the Masters... Stock up for tomorrow. But thank you guys for watching. I'm out. Peace.